friends, it's Holly. Welcome back to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're not new. Super happy to have everybody, as always. It's just, it's awesome that you're here. I know that sounds cliche, but it really, it is. You're taking your time out of your day to listen to me. But, oh, is it gonna be that window thing again? We're gonna leave it open for a while and see what happens. The birds are singing and it's, it's a nice day. So, I know you're expecting what I told you to expect, which is shoes with fabric on them. And I promise next week we will have shoes with fabric on them. Nope, that window's a problem. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> um, this week just uh, kind of got away from me. And I also wanted to close the door on our last two videos and I'll post those a link to those videos down below of um comparison fabrics um comparison of the I jokingly call them the bottom feeders but that's there there was some you know okay fabric in that bunch but uh specifically I want to close the door today <laughs> if only I could uh on on the Joanne situation and this is and then I'm going to show you the my the Tula so you can get a good look at the tiny bees. But, um, so this is gonna be a little chatty for a few minutes, and if you don't uh, wanna hear the chatty and the, the drama that is Joanne Fabrics, feel free to fast forward through all this. I haven't figured out how to timestamp yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, you know, I had a not so great shopping experience at Joanne's. And um, uh, uh, the day that I got home from that shopping experience, there was an email in my box saying, would you like to do a survey on your experience at Joanne's today? And I was like, yes, I would. So uh, I just gave it to him straight. I told him everything that, um, you know, the situation was, there weren't enough employees and the checkout situation was an ordeal and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I also said, which, that I was an influencer, that I had a YouTube channel and that I had um, shared my experience with, you know, my subscribers. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, <clears throat> I had a few moments heady with power there for a minute because not like three seconds after I hit enter, the phone rang. And who was it? Joanne Fabrics wanting to talk to me about my experience. Poor Megan. She was very, very sweet. Um, she, I'm sure, expected me to be a dragon, and I, I was very polite. And um, I gave her the rundown of what had happened and, and, how, and the whole, whole nine yards. And um, well, she did try to make some excuses that I, I kind of shut her down on, she was gracious and... Um, encouraged me to come back and to ask to speak to a manager and to have a manager walk me through my experience so that I, I might have a better one, you know, to tell you that I had a better experience, which I may do someday because they're trying. And I, I have to give that to them, that they were interested enough that they wanted to pursue the situation. So anyway, I decide I'm feeling kind of bad that I, I gave them such a hard time. I it was the truth. But I, I gave him kind of a hard time. So last m Monday, the day that I talked with them, she I, she had encouraged me to try to purchase some pre premium quilting fabric to see how I felt about that. So I decided, let's check out the online experience and see how that goes. And maybe I'll get some, you know, fabric I like. So I go online and I see, oh, they have Liberty of London fabric. It's $34.99 a yard, but that's not out of line for Liberty fabric for a yard. So I put a yard of that in my cart and then I see that they have Alexander Henry fabric, which I was like, what? So I searched Alexander Henry and um, they require that you buy two yards, two online and most of the Alexander Henry is not available in stores so okay uh, you know I, I'll get two yards so then I 
I start, I just was sort of hunting through the, the rest of it and I, I'll show this up closer, but I found this really pretty holly. And again, you must buy two yards. So I put two yards of that in my cart and then I went to see what was on sale. And so I got some, um, stay flex. Is that right? Shape, no shape flex. Um, awesome. Got my cart going, hit purchase. Two minutes later, I get an email. The Liberty of London pattern that I chose was out of stock. Okay, well, I'll go back and see if there's other patterns maybe that I, I liked and we'll just try a different one. So the other thing that I need to say about their online experience is, and this is something that a lot of other companies do that annoys the daylights out of me, is when you you search for something or you're on a page and you're looking at things and you click on something so that you can see it more clearly and you know the details of it. And then you go back, they've randomly scattered all of the search things. So they're not on the rows like they were before. They've moved everything all around so that you don't remember what you looked at. <clears throat> and so that you keep moving forward looking at, for more things because you can't find what you were looking for before. That's that's shady business, but lots of companies do it. So anyway, I pick two Liberty of London's and I put them in my cart, purchase five minutes later, not in stock. So I decide, well, to heck with this noise. I'm just going to get my Alexander Henry, my Holly fabric and, and my shape flex and call it a day. So that was on Monday. And I'm thinking, well, it should, you know, it said five, it said three to five business days shipping. I thought, well, okay, but by the time I get to the end of the week, I can have it here, film, get, you know, see what I think about it and then close the door <clears throat> on this whole thing. So Tuesday, I get an email that they're processing my Liberty of London order. Okay, but you said it was out of stock. And I checked my credit card and I've been charged for it. For one of them. the for, Actually, the first one that I wanted. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> so, um, Wednesday, I get an email saying that I should have my order, all of my order, on Thursday. Coming FedEx. Okay. Friday, I get another email. I should have my order coming on Saturday. <laughs> you're not, Joanne, you're digging. And okay, I, I get that now it's probably FedEx. That's the, that's the problem. But anyway, last night I got a text because I signed up for text from FedEx saying that my order would be arriving tomorrow. Today, as in. This is what I got. No Alexander Henry, no Shea Flux, no uh, Liberty of London. I don't even know what's happening with that stuff. So, <sighs> Joanne and I have broken up. <laughs> we are, we, not that we were like in, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> in like a big time relationship in the first place, but uh, I can't trust them anymore. I can't trust them at all. What the heck? So anyway, that's it. We're done. We're done comparing except for this this um, beautiful holly fabric. Who knows? I, I will let you know if everything else arrives or not. But uh, what in the heck? So let's look at some pretty fabric and feel happy, okay? All right, so here is the holly fabric that I got from uh, Joanne. Um, it's beautiful. And I might, you know, when your name is Holly and your birthday is the day after Christmas, uh, you're a little fussy about Holly. And it's, it, it's lovely. It is still... How do I explain this? I don't... It's still not woven what I would consider to be premium. But it's it feels good. Um, the colors are beautiful. The holly's lovely. There's words in there somewhere. This this one looks like whoops to me, but I think it's something. And then hope. 
or hazelnut. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is it. I got two yards of it. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but uh, it's beautiful. And so score one for Joanne. They, they had a lot to make up. So on to Tula. Um, this is the new collection, The Tiny Beasts. I have seen it available uh, many places. Sometimes Tula's stuff um, sells out real quickly and you're not able to get it. I, I love me some Tula. I know it's a usually you love her or you hate her. Um, I would not go on Etsy and spend, you know, $80 for a fat quarter. I don't love her that much. But um, she combines a lot of things that make me happy <laughs> in fabric. And there and there have been, like, her last line with the paradise and the, I don't even remember what it was called, but with the parrots and all that stuff. I didn't, that, I don't love that one quite so much, but this one, oh my goodness. This is gorge. So this is the deer. Um, I don't know if they all have, oh, they do. This one's called Deer John. This is in the pink and aqua colorway. I love how the deer have polka dots all over them. I love how their antlers are growing flowers. Um, I The flowers are just, it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful piece of fabric. I would love to be in her mind for like five minutes and just see how she sees things. Amazing. Another thing I really love about Tula is that she sticks with a color palette that um, previous uh, lines will go with. Plus, she's got this her own line of solids, which I'll get to in a minute. But this is same Dear John, but this time it's in the orange, orange yellowy pink. Same thing. Equally beautiful. I love this one so much. We we have so many squirrels in our yard and I just love this so much. This one is called Oh Nuts. <laughs> um little squirrelies everywhere. Some of them are coming like, you know, down the the vine. Some of them are sitting. The acorns are striped. It's I little pokey daddy squirrelies. They're just Love them. Love them. My dog also loves them. <laughs> she has caught one, I think, but she's a dog. That's what dogs do. Okay, same same fabric. This time it's in the blue, pink, orange, green. Love it equally as much as the other one. Just even their little faces. Look at this one. That looks like his, is it his nose or his tongue? It looks like he's licking his lips from something delicious. Their little feet, I just, attention to detail. Okay. Hey, Marcella, love you, girl. Um, Marcella loves raccoons, and I, I, I confess, I love them also. I have always loved them. Um, when I was a young girl at a lake in Minnesota that my mother's family had, um, they had a raccoon named Rosie, and they fed her marshmallows and she would come to the door and knock literally knock on the door and and they would give her marshmallows why marshmallows uh i don't know but i'm sure rosie had no teeth left at the end of her life but anyway this cracks me up we have a garbage can in our backyard that is full of bird seed and they work as a team i have turned on the back lights and watched them work as a team to get the lid off that garbage can to get the seed just they're smart little buggers <laughs> look at this one's like apple core so cute and then this one is the same one in the purple pink adorable you just wanna anybody follow juniper fox juniper fox on facebook tiktok instagram uh you should she's youtube she rehabs it. Well, yeah, she rehabs animals. And she has a um a, a raccoon whose name is it Fern? No. Newt. His name is Newt. Okay, so this one is the foxes and 
I'm trying to find the name of the fox. Oh, fox. Okay. The, the first time I looked at this, I really had a hard time finding the foxes, which is maybe why she calls it outboxed. I'm not sure. But here's the fox. There's a fox. It's kind of like an, uh, an I, I find, I see thing. Flowers are beautiful. There's a fox here. Gorge. And then this is the pink, pink and red. And here's a fox here. There's one up here. There's one over there. This is the bears. I love, 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 love. This is bear with me. Oh my goodness. This, okay. So you gotta, you gotta really have a look at this bear. First of all, he's got a bee on his forehead and the bee has got a honeycomb up above. And then there's like flowers all around and his little, his eyes are like um, Nautilus shells. Like, and then his cheeks are like flower petals. And then down to his chin with like more flower petals. And then there's flowers beneath with hearts and there's little bees. I hope you're seeing this okay. There's little bees on top of those flowers. I mean, can you even, it's, Again, I would like to be in her head for a minute. How do you sit down and decide, I'm going to draw a bear, and I'm going to put a bee on a bear, and I, I, it's gorgeous. This is one of my absolute favorite lines of hers in probably the past four years or so. And this is also the bear. Same deal. Same bees. Or little bees down here. Super cute. Okay, here we here we go. Here we go with the hedges. Where is come on? You can do it. This is who's your dandy? Who's your dandy? Oh that's one I have not seen or used. Who's your dandy lion? This one goes directionally a different most of the rest of them are directionally this way. This one is directionally this way. Ac across the fabric is important as opposed to the length of it. And these sweet little hedgies have dandelions puffs on their backs. And there's little butterflies. And there's little, dan little dandelion things, puffs floating everywhere. And there's butterflies everywhere and they're just they're just adorable I can't decide which colorway I like usually I lean towards purple but it's it's well maybe not, I don't know I was gonna say I think it's easier to see the dandelions on this one but now that I look at it again I'm not sure that that's the case Okay, last two. I love this. I love this. I love this. Where is the do to do? I'm making this harder for myself. This is painted ladies. So cute. Painted ladybugs. And it's, um, as you can see, it's an ombre kind of thing where it goes green, blue, pink, red, pink, purple, green. You see, you get it, right? Okay, this is the one with the blue background. And this is the one with the white background. They all have little dots on them. So, 
So <clears throat> that's it for uh, tiny bees. I would suggest if you want some yardage or even fat quarters, you you won't you're gonna want to get on that bandwagon because it's a good one and it's gonna it's gonna sell out. So I wanted to show you. I got some of her solids. That's probably enough to. <clears throat> this selection of solids came in two um, collections. This one is Dragon's Blood, I believe. Yes, no, Dragon's Breath. And the other one was Unicorn Poop. So it's basically jewel tones or um, pastels. And I'm a jewel tone person like crazy. So there's this gorge purple. And you can see that it blends with this whole, this whole line. That's it. Gorge, just gorge. I love these colors. They're mm, beauteous. So that's it for today for the fabric, for the stash enrichments, and I'll see you in a minute. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental. Yeah, it's still, it's still in my head. So, um. Happy Father's Day. Today is Sunday. I'm filming this on Sunday and it is Father's Day. And um, if you are a father, if you have a father, um, if you have someone in your life that you love like a father, uh, <clears throat> happy day to them. If like me, your father is not with us anymore, I see you. I know. Days like this, to be perfectly honest, Mother's Day and Father's Day are probably my two least favorite days holidays ever but we remember the good stuff and uh try to forget the bad so uh be well be safe and i'll see you next time bye